Hello guys, welcome again. I'm just gonna talk a little bit, but don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment below so you can ask me everything, I mean everything about Blender. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my scene here, the next scene, about the gravity. I'm just gonna pause my animation. Uh, if you can see here, uh, the basics of make a decal is not that kind of hard, but if you can see my decal, and the wall I use I just use a simple texture and the texture I just search for on the internet it's just one just one texture this one and I use it as a bump map also and also use that as a bump map see here Map. and why I use it not so much because if I I must uh, if if we see it from far if I see it for from far away it must be feasible see but if we if we increase the strength too much it's gonna look ugly so just a little bit strike so if you so you can see it from far away if you had the strength to zero it's just gonna look flat we don't want it so just gonna increase it a little bit so it also take a quick effect on the decal of it, on the decal, we have created, and I created, see here, the decal itself, but the decal here, I made a different pop map, it's not the same like uh, the wall texture, it depends on what map map you're gonna use, but I use a pop map on, uh, I, I, you can take the texture on the HDRI Haven, I believe. Yeah, I just should just, just use one pump map, just the pump map, and the strength is yes. not too hard to, so I can see from far away. So, as you can see, if you set the strength to zero, it's just gonna look flat as an image, but if you just pump it bump or increase the strike of the bump the bump map yep is look stunning not much but that's it's gonna be look awesome for me I mean I don't know if you can you guys can this consider it as a good looking but for me it's good looking yeah uh, for the decal I made here in the, in the next scene I just use uh, everything is decal I did everything I mean this and the newspaper I use here just a few just a few of them you can take them from Google you can search for it and uh, what I do is uh, just scale it and rotate it and scatter them all over all on the wall and yeah just you know, it's look like this it's simple and easy and I'm gonna teach you how to do it okay let's start with the decal on a mixture on this object there's a add a mapping and texture gradient and you can uh, select the extent it's not repeating uh, and you can adjust yourself your decal but it has a weakness 
if you are move the decal texture on the object like it says I use I'm gonna make this up it's not gonna be visible it's gone but if you set on the left side of this object it will be visible why because it depends on your UV wrapping that is a weakness of this kind of decal texture so instead of use this we can add another method of decal add a plane just move it and adjust your plane just good enough add a material add an image texture just plug it in add a mix shader uh, sorry Transparent is there. Look at in the upper part. Let's give a switch. Right zone. And take the alpha channel to the effect shader. And go to material and set the play mode of the plane to alpha bend. And picture if you don't change the play mode it's going to look like this alpha band it's gonna adjust that it's not done yet so just add a string wrap project negative Y and Z and pick target. It's flickering a bit, let's play with the upset and you're ready to go. Uh, I want to move this up but it's not subdivided so just go to the edit mode and simplify it a few times or more it depends on your object and if we go here just play with the offset um, yeah, you can scale it Just play with the skill and yeah here we find and there's a there is there's just two method I show you and this method just depends on what you're gonna use and uh, yeah that's it if you can uh, ask me anything just leave it a comment below I'm gonna respond it as fast as I can um, yeah that's it bye bye see you on the next tutorial